Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Dose. We're on the Sea Road Fate Assembly Android Edition. This is called OP Fate Assembly on iOS. Jump in and join me if you would like to. I believe I'm on server 165. It is probably full though, so I will be looking to make a free-to-play account slash journey for those. Uh, I guess when we get enough interest, I will be doing that. And uh, we can definitely all join up together, start our own little grand fleet. It looks a little something like this and progress from there. Now, in saying this today, I think I'm probably going to do some stupid things, which is what I like to do best. I don't know if it's going to be a good thing, a bad thing, if it's going to all work out in the end. I yeah, It's 50-50. 50-50 at this point. Um, one thing that I will say is, I do notice that if you are looking to uh, quote unquote progress in this game, some of these shops are freaking confusing. A lot of this stuff here is just going to require you to basically tap on the currency to see where it is. Now, there are a couple of things to note that I wish I knew probably two weeks ago. A lot of this stuff you can just keep doing, accumulating, saving up. If you don't know where it is, just click on the currency itself and it would take you to the adventure. Most of the time, they're pretty quick. it probably take you an extra five minutes a day to complete them. However, if you don't know that, just click on the adventure tab and oh, actually the port tab. Most of the time, it's the port tab. The port tab has all the little additional things that you can get. Now... Uh, is it worth going through each day and, and like checking it out? Absolutely. If you have an extra like 15 minutes per day, if you want to uh, like invest that time, you can certainly maximize the currency you can get. Then go over to the corresponding shop and have a look around to see if it's worth your effort. Most of the time, it's just random stuff like this. Maybe not that great in the long term, but again, free is free. And if you are looking to maximize your enjoyment on the game, there's certainly some things that can boost you as a free-to-play player simply by putting the time in. In saying that, a lot of the other times, like, I think that this arena setup here is a little bit not that great. Honestly, if you want to spend 100 tickets to get one of these, there's probably better things to invest your tickets on. Now, the rewards, if you look at it each time, each settlement, I think settlement goes over three days and they reset it. As far as I can tell, it's every three days. It might be every five days. You do get some berries and, of course, the currency. But in hindsight, the Summit War going into the Sky Pier fight, you actually get much better rewards here by simply progressing. Um, you do need to win a few of the fights, but I will show you some cheesy ways to get around it. So if I want to fight Tuna and his apparent berry level is at 20 million, or at least I think it's 20 million, maybe that's 200 million. Yeah, it's got to be like, is that 200 million? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Pretty sure that's like 200 million. It could be 20 million. I could be just be blind and stupid. But if you have a look at Tuna and he says, oh, I have an OP team, you know his first team's going to be the cheese team. If you want to find out how strong they are, go over to this little statistics metric, go to the X server and have a look at their lineup. This will give you a good indicator of the next two teams that you're going to fight. Um, most of the time, people just split it up into two OP teams and then have like a weak one. This will give you a good indicator. It could be 50-50. Maybe you might get lucky if you uh, beat un quote unquote Tuna's cheese team. If you throw all your heroes into the next round, maybe that will be strong enough to beat that. And then that gives you the 2-0 victory. Do things like that. Save yourself some tickets and progress as a free-to-play. Try to get those juicy rewards. In saying that, there is a couple of things to note. Of course, we are going to be doing some stupid things today. Um, why do I have a Kiji in here? I don't know why I have you in there, buddy, but I think... Oh, that's right. I remember because I was trying to get the... Uh, I was trying to get the bonuses from uh, this event over here, which, again, it, it is worthwhile trying to do. So if it's... No, no, wait, so where's the guy? It looks like a fish man. Sea Trials, there we go, Jinbei. So in this one, if you do switch up your uh, formation, you can actually just get some cheesy stuff here. Like three Marines got me some intel, which means I don't have to waste berries rolling for the high rolls. And you get some berries too. 
<sighs> all the cheese, all the cheese. All right, anyway, moving on this event reset. So this is the third, third week reset. Uh, Shanks is up there. Actually, it might be the fourth week reset. Jeez, time flies when you're having fun. Anyway, the redhead Shanks is up there if you want to buy him. Premium gifts. Essentially, log in. You get some free stuff. If you want to do some extra quick battles, you'll be able to get some free stuff and extra bounties. The gifts don't really change. You're always going to get like a two core per like um, per like discipline. Um, I mean, it's free Mohawk copies if you're building him or Hancock if you're building her. Um, most of the time people aren't building kid, but if you do, he's pretty strong as well. Of course, you just get free stuff. You can't really complain about that. Everything else resets. Everything resets here. They added some additional things here. Be mindful though. You need to win this pack twice to get a full copy of your red fish badges, your red fisherman badges. So it is a little bit of a trap. Think about that before you spend. But outside of that, pretty stock standard. I like the fact they're continuing the gifts. But I guess the main thing that we're going to be doing in this video is seeing if we can get our first 12 star or 2 or badge 2, E2. Depends on which vernacular I like to uh, talk or speak, <laughs> if I can do that in English. Whatever you want to call it, um, I just call them 12 stars because technically it's 12 stars. E2, 12 stars, 12 with the shiny badges, I don't know. Anyway, what I do know is it can be expensive to promote them. You do need 6 star copies of the respected hero. So we might be sacrificing our Ivan yeah ivan you might have to go the only reason i say that is because we're going to be putting an additional person in our team today anyway and i do like marco over ivan even though ivan does do really good buffage in terms of he gives the ultimate and rage ability to go up i can always build them again they're very easy copies to get um if you have any of these things saved up for recruitment wise literally they they're not they're not even classified as um they're not even elite pools. So your swap rate for him is through the roof. <laughs> you can literally swap for him and you pretty much get him every single time. It's it's ridiculous. But he really is an OP hero. I definitely will be rebuilding him for PvE. PvP, I feel like there's a little bit of wiggle room. He is squishy, so depending on who you're going to swap him out for, you could go with Newgate and Marco. Marco can keep everybody alive with massive sustain. However, Marco does need to be at a little bit higher level than I have him now to really work. So I'm not too worried about PvP. In PvE, Ivan is, is a must. I will say that. So I am going to regret having to get rid of him. But hopefully we'll be able to get our first uh, 12 star today. On top of that though, before we jump into that juiciness, what we're going to do is actually do some summons. So this is the event that has come out. It is the Sun God Luffy event and it is with the Summit Recruitment. So it does happen every week or so. I don't know if this will be a reoccurring event or with whether or not it might not appear for a little while down the track. But we are going to take the opportunity to buy some of the Chaos Packs. We're going to get one of the packs with 328 of these juicy, juicy berries. And that means we have around 88 of these summons. Now the drop chances are up on the screen. As you can see, it is a 0.1% chance to get him. You can get the Sea Beast and then you can get his actual badge. They are pretty low in terms of like RNG perspective. However, if you do summon out 80 of them, you will get 100 copies. And of course, you know, it only takes uh, a little bit to build this guy. So whether or not it takes 100, so if that's just a guaranteed one excuse me, one copy of him. Uh, I'm not sure. We're all going to find out together. <laughs> yes, we are. And ultimately, he probably would be that which I replaced for my PvP lineup. Um, I do have to say his ultimate ability attacks the back row. It does heal himself and then um, basically negates all negative effects and increases the duration. So he does a little bit of a swapsy. He's more of a, I, I want to say he's probably a DPS, but who knows? He might be more AoE because he does attack the radius around him when he goes to the back line. But I am absolutely excited about the prospect of getting a copy of him. So let's go ahead and do some random one star pulls. You never know, right? You really don't know. I do have amazing RNG when I play games. And I'm not just saying that. If anyone's been following the channel long, you'll all agree 
PB has some of the craziest RNG in the world. Oh, did we get a six star yet? No, we got an all star five star. Ooh, I don't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not angry about that. We do need some food, but like I said, we are going to get the guaranteed. So hopefully, we do land a jackpot. We got another one, another five star. I'll do some solo pulls because you never know. Even though the drop rate is dismally low, we did get ourselves. Oh, let's go. We got a six star. Love that. We got a six star food. I mean, even that's worth it in my opinion because they're pains in the ass to get. Can we get something extra spicy? Let's do another 10 bomb. Five star. We'll do some solo pulls. Come on, game. It's, uh, I know it's, I know the drop rate's super, super low, but you never know, right? You never know. Maybe I get the world beast. I don't know if I really want the fisherman badge, but who knows, right? Another 10 star, and that is another 5 star. Last 10 bomb. And no bueno. But we do, of course, get the guaranteed 100 shards of him. In terms of like the drop rate, we did manage to get ourselves a 1% drop rate. Outside of that, we pretty much got the stock standard. <sighs> I wasn't expecting myself to drop it. I know I talk a good hype game, but let's be honest. I'm just happy that we were able to get some copies of him. So I want to go ahead and build this guy. So I'm assuming he needs 100 shards. I'm going to make that assumption. Um... Yeah, I think he and I think he does. I think he needs a hundred shards to build him. How many berries do we get for him? I only get a hundred berries, which is odd. Very odd, very odd. So if I wanted to build old mate chaos over here, what do I need? I need one more sun god and then two six stars. Oh, okay. Wow, this guy is going to be super expensive to build. Super expensive to build. Not that I'm not that I'm complaining. Not that I'm complaining. Like there's no there's no favoritism here. It doesn't like you get like a massive um, amount of bonuses for it. But it looks like you need a hundred shards. So at least you get the guaranteed copy after eighty pulls. Uh, that just means that next event we'll get another guaranteed copy and so on and so forth. Hopefully at by the end of it we'll be able to build this guy in completely. I am of course still gonna continue with my original um, quote unquote methodology i'm gonna go and grab some other stuff too on top of that though uh what did i want to do what did i actually want to do next let me think about this i wanted to build i wanted to build ivan up let's go and let's go ahead and grab you so before we do that we're going to go into the promote we're going to build ourselves another six star so i'll keep some of that all set aside Fuse you together, get ourselves a pearl, and then actually in my bag, did I did I manage? Did we even manage to get like one full luck? No, we didn't even manage to get a whole one. That's crazy. Didn't even get a full fusion. That's okay though. <sighs> Bit of a rip off event. I'm not gonna lie, but anyway, anyway, we can't be too salty, right? We're gonna go in here now. We have to go and fuse this guy together. So we're going to throw you in and then uh, one, two. Yeah, we'll throw you in there. And that's our nine star done. So what we're going to do next is we are going to feed him into this. So we have a six star copy. I'm going to use you. So Ivan's going to get the boot. Why do I still have you in there? I don't understand half these things. Um... Sun God, he goes over there. Now, actually, before him, I probably should reset. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we don't reset it, uh, could you imagine? I oh, will just throw throw Garp in there. Um, all right. Yeah, that's, that's a good reminder. That's a good catch there, PB. Where is he? Ivan, we want to rebirth you. I'm going to grab all of those back. Do not want to waste the resources if we don't have to. Because that, that's awkward, right? I don't even want to test that theory out to see whether or not we can, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to test that theory to see whether or not we get the resources back. Oh, it's going to keep telling me to do this. And this is the annoying part, right? Throw you in there one more time. It's probably going to say one more time. 
And then we'll throw you back in there. Save. My goodness. Ivan, you're finally getting the boot. So there we go. We managed to get you to E1. Then we're going to go two more copies. We already had them built there. You could probably guess it by looking at the screen. So that's going to cost us 7,000. And then boom, we get ourselves a upgraded Mohawk. And before we go too crazy, get you up to level 100. I'm going to throw some gear on you. Auto equip it. Uh, where is it? We'll gear you up with some of that stuff. Now, I don't expect this guy to stay alive. Like, I'm not naive, but it is cool to have that chaos there. I want to have a look to see what the bonuses are given as well. Now, on top of that, I was thinking that we could potentially go along the lines of building Newgate because we do have three copies of him. And that might be something that we'll be doing eventually. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely trade this guy. I doubt he's going to stay alive, but um, just for shits and giggles, we'll play with him. But I will be building this guy up and then using him later on down the track. In saying that, do I have enough to build... Uh, do I have enough of these shardy shards? How many am I, how many am I missing? I have 45 of you... I have 45 of you, I have, if I go to my thing over here, go to my privilege, what can I get? So that's 12,000, that's 20k, and that's 23,000, that's VIP 10 though, so we can actually afford to buy that one, that's not bad, so we can get some legendary gear, and the next thing I was thinking was, we would be able to get two GARP copies. We are able to get two guard copies. Hmm. If we can get two guard copies, can we get another couple of guard copies? Because I have... I mean, I doubt that I would be able to... Well... Hmm. That's the other thing, right? I actually have a big mum copy. I actually have big mama. So, I could 12-star Big Mum. Because we already have her copy here. So, that's three there. Hmm. What would I need to... And I have enough food copies as well. Interesting. What do I need for Big Mum, though? I don't want to... Ah, uh, see, this is the trap. <laughs> this is the trap. What do I need for Lin Lin's six star? That's that's the annoying thing is because we don't have the copy in the bag. I mean, if we commit, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. I, I mean, we can just commit and get the tank out of the way. Um, now that we already have a twelve star, although Garp would be the better decision, I think that would be the better decision. Uh, but I am known to doing stupid things. <laughs> I am I I do like to do some things outside the box. Maybe we get lucky, man. Oh! <laughs> I mean, the, the game just said, not today, PB. Not today. It literally said, you are building Garp today. All right. Well, the game has spoken. And uh, if you're watching this, hashtag insane luck. Um, we're going to have to go ahead and buy you, if it lets me, buy one more copy. But yeah, okay, well, there you go. Looks like uh, we're, we're definitely going to be trying to uh, to build this guy. I don't know if I have the corresponding heroes to build him, but we're going to go We're gonna go find out. We are going to find out together. And the other thing to mention is we do actually have uh, quite a lot of the... We lucked out, I'll say this. So before I get too sidetracked, uh, we actually did luck out with the, the random badge. We managed to get Garp's uh, badge as well. So I think the other badge we're going to try to get is going to be Mohawks because he's already at uh, 12 star. Kind of makes sense to me. And yeah, anyway, let's jump back into it. Insane luck as per usual. I think it's that weird looking dude though. I don't know. I don't know. So let's go into the promote over here. I think it, yeah, it's the weird looking dude. And I only have one copy of him. Uh, all right. Now I'm just going to have to figure out how to get this weird looking dude. 
superior recruitment? Okay. That's not going to help me. How much is it going to cost me to get in from here? Weird looking dude. He's 25 of them. Ugh. I wonder if he's available anywhere else though. Interesting. Might just build some of these ones for the sake of it. And granny. So it can only be that guy and granny anyway. So grab some of these food out of here. All right. So now we know we need the weird looking dude. <laughs> I should probably stop saying that. But he does look weird, right? How do I get a copy of him? To come so far, yet to be so far. All right. How do I get copies of the weird looking dude? Is there a way? Outside of pulling like a random lucky fragment, maybe. I mean, look, I it's been known. It has been known, but I don't think I'm going to have enough. I don't know if I can find him. So he has Bellino. You have Kut, uh, Kat, uh, Kaku. Kaku's in this one. Um, damn it, to come so far. What is there anyone that has him? There's none that have him. <sighs> How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Redeem shop. No, nope, that's not going to help me. What if we just like randomly buy a ticket and we land it? <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? All right. This this will be the most epic of epics if we manage to pull him. Yep, didn't expect that to happen, but that's okay. At least we managed to go a little bit further into it. I don't know. Yeah, the, the thing is, unfortunately, can't swap. And I do hate the fact we can't swap for it. And that is sucky. I do think, though, that we should be able to swap out. Uh, where's my bag? Where's my baggy bag? What do I have here? I was going to swap some of these ones out and start building Ivan again. We will, at this stage, though, we're going to go and grab Mohawk Sword. So we'll grab his weapon out of there just to bonus him up. There's nothing else, is there? I wonder if he appears in any of the other ones. Hmm. It's going to rack my brain for this, isn't it? I wonder. I wonder. He's definitely not in any of the event packs. it would just be random dumb luck at this stage. We could actually pull him. I actually don't even think I have enough berries to try. I have 56 berries. Is there a limited pack that I can buy that maybe we could get lucky? Uh, no, no rewards. None of those ones. Shop. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. No, we're not spending any more today. <laughs> not today, devil. Not today. Uh, we have 58, but there's nothing here that I can buy. I don't think that will give us those options for a random, like 99% sure we can't get him. So realistically, it's going to come back down to some RNG. Of course, we do have the new badge there, which is awesome. We're going to promote these ones up. So we're very, very close to being able to get Garp. I still feel like that's insane RNG, just a little bit unfortunate that we didn't have the copies. However, it's okay. These things do happen. What we will do though is I will try to level up this guy. Uh, actually, I should probably try and level you up too, right? See if we can get you up a little further. And I was thinking that I need the, uh, what's this guy called? These are the black essence. So I need a black essence. Crap, I've already forgotten. I need a black essence uh, armor piece. So, go into the bag. Black essence armor piece. Nope. Black essence armor. Correct. Perfect. So, we'll be able to get him the full set of gear. I do like that. When landing crit has 10% chance to increase crit damage. I like that. Can't go wrong. We need to do some of these stupid little blessings as well. Uh, honestly, it's always going to be attack, uh, 
No, sorry. It's always going to be a percentage-based thing. Did we get anything higher? We got a level 2.7. And then uh, with this one, we'll do a 10 bomb. Come on. 3.5%. Don't want to waste all my essences on it, to be honest. Uh, we will. We'll try and enhance you a little bit. Use all. Hey, plus 100. I'll take it. Max that out. Oh, go refine. Oh, oh, there we go. So this is how we do it. So we actually need to use these basic DC crystals to upgrade. All right. New bless level 15. No idea what this does. We're all learning together. How about, can we, can we enhance you? Yeah, we can get you to 100 as well. Can we? No, damn it. I thought we could. Ah, told me a lie. Anyway. <laughs> it's going to always give you these prompts, which annoys me. Oh, is there another one? Do we have a better one? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. What's this one? Standard casting ultimate. Uh, I want to change you back to the Pierce one, though. Superior Pierce. I believe Pierce is a little bit OP in that sense. Can I uh, equip anything to you? Maybe. We can do some forging as well. I guess this is another thing to note that you can grab this gear from that shop by just, I feel like you can get bucket loads of the red gear for free. Damn it. Just needed that one more freaking hero. It's going to, it's going to irk me until I get him it really is. And there's no way for me to spend to get him. So that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Ah. Yeah. Well, it is what it is, but we are, uh, I guess a little bit better off, a little bit better off, we de we definitely were going to be better off in terms of um, getting Garp up to uh, 12 star, let's do some, um, actually, the other thing too was, I was thinking, can we get Marco up there, can we get Marco up there, uh, standard speed, yeah, speed's not too bad, uh, I want him to at least do some uh, buffages, what do I need for Marco? I need a six star and two of you. Can't really even build a six star, to be honest. The only six star I could build would be Newgate, which we're not going to be using him as food. Hmm. Oh, well, it looks like the game has said you cannot progress any further, cannot pass go. But we did manage to luck out in some aspects of it, so I'm not complaining. Let's do some... Um, Let's see if we can actually beat, where was it? So at this stage, what's our sea trial level? We got 46, 5, 7, 7, and that was with Ivan. Let's see how we go without Ivan. Um, now that we have this guy, he can, he, I guess he can go slot, he can go slot 4. Now that we also have a buff version, we'll put him in the front. Let's see how good we go. Now remember that... Hawk doesn't have the buffed attack gear on him. He's not running a full set. I'm still kind of depending on uh, Garp to do the most damage, but that could change. Could change. I could swap that up. Let me know in the comment section down below what would be the best combination. Do you think I should just go like a uh, full DPS in uh, Mohawk now that he's 12 star or just keep it with Garp? I do feel like Garp's AoE ability is better. interesting i'm sure that my damage is going to suffer without ivan though <sighs> tis what it is good thing is though and we'll talk about this uh after we get some results here good thing is we can actually get another nine star all right so we did a lot did we do a lot less 44 was that 44 and that best was 46 uh, we didn't do a lot less but we did do Less because he wasn't getting his ultimates out. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like 20 million. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. All right. Anyway, we'll do this one. We'll get some crystals out. Um, hopefully, just get some more food. And I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure we can't make another one. Oh, we're so close. I was hoping that we might be able to get that random legendary gear, but we can't. 
the other thing to note, and uh, before I lose my train of thought, was where was it? No, it's not this. It's the Summit Shop. Um, this is going to reset in two days and nine hours. So I think I can get. I I know I can get the uh, the nine star. So I can get another nine star puppet. So that's going to be the ten star Marco copy there. So that's perfect. Um, and then of course we can go from it. But you can, I guess, I'm not here, I'm not, like, I'm not 100% sure if it's totally worth it. It's going to cost you 8,000 crystals, basically, to build this, um, sea guy. And then it's going to cost you 10,000 crystals to build the sun god's badge. I don't know, that seems pretty excessive, but I guess if you're already whaling along and you can buy the crystal packs out of here as well, maybe that's not a terrible investment. I, um... I still feel like that's pretty excessive though. I'm not going to lie. But we do have enough of these crystals left. I do, I will say this. If we do go into it, the, is it the Summit Supply? Yeah, this was the other thing I was going to mention. Like just by participating each day, you are going to get like Dolphamingo copies and Neil copies if you're free to play. Mohawk, of course. Um, Hancock, great for AOE. Coom if you need to build your tank. Like, the game's giving you some free stuff. And, of course, it's going to give you, like, the free core random card, too. I mean, you could luck out. You really could. I mean, if you wanted to roll the dice and you didn't need any of those specific heroes, maybe you get lucky in high roll, like a Big Mum or a, a Garp as well, or even a, a Kiji, which would be pretty, pretty badass. But, anyway, you do get some random stuff there. I just wanted to point that out, so make sure that you are participating. I doubt this event is going to be around forever. The other thing to mention is if you are doing your Skype here, you will be able to eventually afford a free six star all camp spirit. So that's kind of like the cream of the crop. I definitely would recommend doing your dailies just to try and get this one. Just because getting like a, a free six star from a like Marine Emperor camp, that's going to save you so much time and energy. It really is going to help you out. Alternatively, you can always just buy a couple of these ones if you really aren't. If you know you're, you're close to not being able to get it, you can always go for that one. I mean, you could just buy the randoms. You could you could do like the dodgy. Can I actually? Cause should I buy this? Can I can I buy fifty of you for ten thousand? Could you imagine if like we get that random though? He's not even in there. Is he in there? I don't even think he's in there. See, I would buy that and I would high roll and I'd get another garb copy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you the game would do it just to annoy me. <laughs> but I don't need it because, uh, again, it's not the food copy. I need the food copy. Damn it. Damn it, game. You're, always, you're vexing me now. Anyway, that was something that I wanted to point out. Outside of that, hopefully this has been entertaining. I guess we can do some PvP. Let's see how terrible we are going to go because we've already got the three arena badges ready to go. Refresh, refresh. Keep refreshing until we find someone a little bit stronger. Uh, it's going to make me fight, isn't it? All right, hopefully we can get up there and fight some people that are a little bit stronger than us. I, would, I do want to see how Sun God goes in the back row. Now, granted... We're going to skip ahead anyway because it's not going to be worth watching. This guy, though, this guy will be worth watching. All right, let's have a look to see what sort of damage we can pull out with the Sun God. I wonder if he could kill Ivan. That would be pretty cool. Could you imagine if he just teleports and kills Ivan? That would be sick. He's not teleporting. Teleport, damn it. <laughs> He's going to die. I can just feel it in my bones. Feel it in my bones. Wow. And you guys are probably going to kill him. Yep. Ultimate. And then it really just comes down to, yeah. So Ivan is still, he's still smacking it. The thing is, because after a certain point, he just energy feeds like crazy. And Garp is always, I, I would say this, Garp is always going to be like that top DPS scenario. Um, I'm not mad though. I, I, I am a little bit annoyed why... The only thing I'm annoyed about is, is that Sun God, when he did his ultimate, he didn't, like, kill Ivan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I expected him to teleport. I mean, a 90, I'm watching him right now. He should have his rage ability slash... 
I'm watching him. Yeah, he's he should be up. Come on, teleport, man. Okay, he doesn't teleport. What he does is he just does an AoE. That's a little bit deceptive. That's a slightly, slight exaggeration there. Um, Francis clapping it. Of course, if you are in any doubt, it is always going to be Daddy Garp. Actually, uh, Big Mama did some damage there. That's impressive. But Daddy Garp is the one that's always going to be carrying the team. That's why I would always suggest making sure that you put them in there. In terms of like relatively power-wise, like -wise, I think we're pretty much equal in terms of power. Uh, they might be like a little bit above us, but it does seem to be that Garp is just the one that's going to lead the charge there. Come on. Show me something spectacular. One thing to note, though, is once Big Mama goes into her, um, what's the thing called again? Uh, she When she goes into her, her rage or ultimate, she becomes invulnerable to attack, which is something interesting to note. We'll go ahead and, uh, uh, yeah, it's not going to let me. That's interesting because it is a little bit of a save for her. She, she, does, uh, she does get that little bit of a save. As long as she can go into her rage ability, then you kind of, you luck out a little bit. But yeah, if anyone's wondering, am I impressed by the Chaos Luffy? I actually wanted to look at the bonus. What does, or uh, Chaos Heroes, I wonder if you actually get a compensation. We're not combined with any camp. Oh man, that sucks. That does suck. All right, big mum. Show me what you got. You're going to die, aren't you? <laughs> GG. All right. But in saying that, if we were just talking about it from shits and giggles, <sighs> Luffy definitely is not something that you'd be sticking in your team. You do need to be highly uh, invested in it. You're going to need some six stars to get there. I imagine to go to eight star, you're going to need... Um, I want to say you might not need another copy of him to go to eight star, but you probably, or seven star, but I would imagine that you'd need quite a lot of uh, either five star generics or six star generics. I'd imagine though, if you are trying to get this guy to 10 star, you're probably going to need at least minimum two nine star generics to get him there. So in terms of like investment, how expensive this guy going to be to build very freaking expensive um unless you're going to be even if you wailed for this event this this is the reality though i mean let's just talk about it from from a straight facts point of view you can't actually get any more copies of him so for me like from my perspective yes you do get his badge guaranteed and and that's that's wonderful i, I feel like that should be like maybe one of the, like you should get like a hundred shards if you summon say like 300 of him. But outside of that, you should be every, every like maybe every 80 summons, you should be getting a guaranteed copy. That's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below. I do know that they'd make no, mo no money if they did that, but that's just an observation um, because you really don't care. Once you get the base badge, it's going to take you a freaking long time to even five star it anyway so let's be honest you just want copies of him to progress along and then hopefully you get a laugh uh, enough of the food copies all right anyway thanks so much for watching catch you in the next one jump into our discord and link in the description field below there is a link there that gives all of the current codes um and on top of that of course it's a great community to be a part of but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one